Yo, what is up guys? It's ShifterX back here with another video. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. He's barking right now. Um, so, this video is going to be about me uh, showing you guys how to connect an external hard drive on the PS4. Right here, as you can tell. Uh, external hard drive that I got is the WD Element. Um... It's basic, it's just a regular hard drive, it's not PS4 brand or anything. Yeah, I got the 2 terabyte one. So, let's unbox it first and then after I'll show you how to connect it and actually set it up. So... Sorry, I'm, I have my camera in one hand and doing the unboxing the other. So, your first, the first thing you're going to get is a, a, a manual, basic. Then you get the actual hard drive itself. And then you get um, a connector. I'm not really sure what kind of connector this is. It's like a mixture of a mini USB with something else. But you got this. So here you go. That's the, the plug or the cord or whatever. Then this is the actual hard drive itself. Something basic. Just says WD Elements on it. Basic, it's kind of light. I don't know why I'm telling you with this, but it's just light, whatever. I want to get this plastic out of here. So I'm going to connect it real quick, and then I'll show you how to actually set it up on the PlayStation 4. I'll be back. Okay, so I plugged it in. It's all plugged in. It should have like a, a little thing in the corner saying it's plugged in. There you go. This USB storage device file system is unsupported. I don't know, but you go to settings, then you go to actually, you go to settings and then devices and then USB devices, and then it shows the actual hard drive. So then you wanna click that. Then you, it says format as extended storage. Before I click this, you wanna click it, but before I click it, I just want to you guys to know that if you have anything in that in in your external hard drive it's gonna erase everything so if you have anything there you um, want then uh, you might want to like move it somewhere else or something like that if you can if you're able to do that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna format as extended storage and then it says you can install applications in the extended storage. However, saved data, screenshots, and video clips will be saved in system storage. So basically, you can't put any like saved data on the hard drive. You can only install applications. And then it's basically saying um, also that what I just said that if you have anything in the hard drive, it will erase. And then I put format. And then, there you go. Press yes. There you go, now it is extended storage for me. So then if I go back, and then I put, go back again, storage, it shows my system storage and also my extended storage. So my, right now I have everything in my system storage. As you can tell, I'm almost running out right there. So that's why I bought this. This, there you go. As you can tell, my application install location is to my extended storage. And that's what I want, because that's where I want to put my application. Okay guys, so that was basically it. If you guys do wanna find this, I can try to put it in the description. It might be there. Um, it was only $60 on Amazon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully there's more videos like this to come. Um, sorry about not making any videos. I have a job and I have to go to school. And so that's take, taking most of my time. But I am going to try to make more videos. Hopefully gameplay soon. Probably tomorrow. I'm going to try to make a video tomorrow. Um, so yeah guys. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, peace.